Ram Rai is a 32-year-old Bhutanese man who came to Utica, New York on November 3, 2010. He was born in a remote village of Bhutan in the Samse region on June 1, 1980. It's a small agricultural village high in the Himalayan mountains with a view of the Indian border, despite it being a three-day walk. They had poor transportation of only mules and horses that carried heavy loads. Because of this rural upbringing, Ram feels well-suited to the city of Utica, as he is used to the cold and doesn't like loud, overcrowded cities. Ram's last name, Rai, represents his very diverse ethnic group of people, which have their own language. This ethnic group are one of many different kinds of Rai in Bhutan, but each group creates a strong sense of family. When asked about this, Ram said, It doesn't mean that uh, it's uh, only one family uh, last name. So it's a big ethnic, huge ethnic group. There are different kinds of Rai you can find. Even I, I may not know. Now our parents used to say 900,000 types of Rai. So mm-hmm. we have a big ethnicity. So it is Rai. My name is Rai. This extended family aspect was in his life back at home, and he has brought it to Utica as a comfort element to make it feel like home. Rai was Ram's first language. When Ram was around 9 or 10 years old, he and his family left Bhutan and crossed India to a refugee camp in Nepal, where he learned his second language, Nepali. Nepali was the universal language used to communicate within the camp. Ram then crossed into India, where he went through school and began to work as he learned Hindi and English, his third and fourth languages. Ram uses all of these languages here in Utica, both in his job and helping new refugees. Ram works at the MVRCR as an interpreter and a resettlement assistant, both important for the transition of incoming refugees. Even outside the office, Ram makes himself available to transitioning refugees in his community to help with translations and transportation to appointments. In fact, his love for helping others is what landed him the job in the MVRCR. You know, when I came here, and I found the many community, uh, my, my own community people, they were, you know, uh, lack of, uh, lacking of, uh, you know, language, yeah. I mean, the English, and they, they were facing the trouble here to talk with their, or contact with their caseworker, even with the front desk person. So, at the time, I, I, I helped them mm-hmm. to, you know, interpret them, and sometimes I went up to the, some second floor, and I conducted uh, three, four, six hour, the you know interpretation. This is just my help, you know. Mm-hmm. What I knew that you know I gave it here, so I don't want to get money from here. Yeah. This is just you know help. Okay then. Later, you know, they call me here. They offer me this job. Mm-hmm. So finally, I didn't find the job, but they offer. Me While Ram was in India, he moved back and forth between the refugee camp. He considered the camp to be home, despite it not being his childhood home, because this is where his family was. This sense of family pertaining to home continues for Ram here in Utica. Ram has an 8-year-old son who was born on Indian Independence Day. Ram spends any free time he has teaching his son. On February 10, 2011, Ram married a woman who had been in the same refugee camp in Nepal. Together they live in a rented house with his stepdaughter and son. On Sundays, they attend the Pentecostal service on South Street with others from the community. He lit up when talking about his family because this type of community is important to him. Ram worked in India until 2008, at which time he returned to the Nepali refugee camp and processed to come to the United States. On November 2, 2010, Ram left Kathmandu, Nepal, on the day-long trip that brought him to Utica, New York. He was a group leader to 35 other refugees on the trip due to his very strong English and leadership skills. In Utica, Ram still enjoys helping other refugees in their transitions, both at work and in his free time. Those refugees that he helps in Utica are equal to his Rai ethnic group back in Bhutan. He recreates the close communal bond that he had at home with the refugees here in Utica. He has a similar bond with his neighbors in his community. He likes how nice, friendly, and helpful all of his neighbors are, but regrets that they have little time to sit and talk. He is grateful for the time he can spend with them 
maybe because they make Utica feel more like home.